Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to make this really cool custom cobblestone texture using a basic texture pack, very easy to do. And I'm doing this in Minecraft 120.6 right now, but this works in other versions of Minecraft as well. We're just gonna be taking the cobblestone and up-resing that to a much better looking picture. Okay, switch over to the desktop and see how this whole thing is done. Now the first thing you need is a place to build your resource pack in. I just made a folder on my C drive, I called it pack. Nothing special, just an empty folder. I also found a nice image over here on the internet with just some rocks. Just click on that and I'll show you that a bit better here. There we go. Just a real nice basic rock texture. I'll put the link for where I got this in the description in case you wanna use the same picture, that's fine. And I also have my own custom pack.png image in here. I'll show you where you can get the vanilla one that's just that grass block if you wanna use that, or you can make your own. This is just a 128 by 128 PNG image. That's all it is. And I copied this from a custom totem that I did. I'll put the link for that custom totem video in the description as well. And then you'll need to have the Minecraft launcher opened up and that's right here. Okay, now we need to get the folders set up and get the original image. So let's go into the Minecraft launcher, go into installations, latest release, and click on the folder icon right there. That brings up the Minecraft folder and then scroll down until you get down to the versions. Open the versions up, and then find your version in the list. Now mine is way down here, it's 120.6. Don't take anything with anything added to like pre or RC2. Ignore all those things. Go for the one that just shows the basic number in here. Again, mine is 120.6 right now, open that up. And you should see two files in here. Let's just change our view. Here we go, you should see two files, a jar file and a JSON file. Now I'm currently editing JSON files in Notepad++. We'll talk about that later. If you're only seeing one file in here, then you need to open up Minecraft and play the new version at least one time as far as the title screen, because that's when the jar file downloads. If you're not seeing the extensions in here where it says .jar and .json, if you're just seeing 120.6 two times, go up here to view, come down to show, and you want file name extensions. Now this is in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, Go up to the View tab and put a check mark next to file name extensions. Same thing. Okay, so you want this file here. It says 120jar. I'm just going to bring my working folder back up again. There it is. And I'll right drag it over here and copy. And that's all set. We can get rid of this for right now. Now in here, click once into the name, click a second time, and you can then backspace over where it says .jar and make that say .zip. Hit the Enter key. Say yes and it converts it to a zip folder. Now it actually was a zip folder before, it was just named .jar, so that's why we could do that. Right click on this, and let's open this up in a new window. Let's make it easy. Here's our new window. Now right on this part here, this is where you can find that grass block, pack PNG if you want it. And that's down very near the bottom of the list, and it's right here. That's that grass block, pack PNG if you want that one. Or make your own. Either way, I like using my own. Okay, now let's go into assets up here into Minecraft, come down here, go into textures, in here go into block, and we want to find that cobblestone. I'm going to change this view here to list so it's easier to spot this thing. Let's scroll over a little bit here. There you go, cobblestone.png, that's the one that you want. And there are two things you need here. One is this image, and we also need this path up here at the top. So I'll take this, right drag it over here, and copy. So there's our original, we need that for the name. We also need these folders up here. So let's go ahead, we'll do that one now. Make a new folder. First one is assets. Let's go inside of assets, new folder. Next one is Minecraft. You can see I'm just copying this right from the top here. Inside of Minecraft, new folder, textures. Go inside of textures, new folder, and this one is block. And inside of here, this is where the new cobblestone image is gonna be going. Notice that there are no capital letters in this. These are all lowercase letters. Same thing for the name of that file. It's all lowercase. If you want to, you can just copy this one over here, right drag, and just put it into the correct place like that. And that's now in the right place. So that's all set to go. We can then close this down. I need to have an image to work with. I've got this over on Pixabay. It's a free download, but it's too big. That's 640 by 427. And the cobblestone here is only 16 by 16. We want something in between these two. We want it large enough so you have good detail, but not too large where it could begin to slow the game down. Actually, anything over about 256 by 256, you're not gonna see any difference anyway in the game. 
So don't go too big on these things. Now I'm going to be editing this over in Photoshop Elements. Almost any editor can do this. It's not a difficult thing to do. Just right click on this and it's open with. And I could use Photoshop Elements in here. I could use Affinity Photo in here. You can use Paint.net or Paint. I could even use Adobe Photoshop. I have that in here someplace. So anything you want is fine for this. I'll just use the editor that I like. Bring this up. And there's only two things that we need to do on this image. The first one is to make it square. And the second one is to bring the size down. So just those two steps. So for a square, I'm just going to grab the crop tool here. I have my crop set at five by five inches. Basically it's just a square image. And then move this around for a good spot. And make this as clean as possible. What I want to have is rocks on this side, similar to the rocks on this side over here. So I have kind of all dark rocks over here right now and mostly all dark rocks on this side. I'm kind of coming in so I'm not really hitting that light rock right here. I'm not hitting that light rock. I could find someplace else in here maybe that would also work. But I think that looks pretty good. Right about like that, I think it's clean. It's not a perfect match, but it's close enough for our use. Hit that check mark. And this is now square. That's the first step. Second step is to make it smaller. So in elements, we just go over here to image, come down to resize and image size. All of your different graphics programs have the same basic idea someplace in them. Change your resolution. It should be at 72. And on your pixel dimensions, this is width and height. I'm gonna set these at 128, which is about four stages up. So 16 by 16 to 32 by 32 to 64 by 64 to 128 by 120. So it's four steps up. And that gives us plenty of detail. Not too much. If it's too photographic, it looks really fake in the game. But you can go quite a bit better and it will still work in well. So it's a little better, smaller than larger. Also, the bigger it is, it can begin to slow your game down if there's a lot of this stuff in there. So keep the file sizes smaller. This would also work out well at 64 by 64, but I'll go for the extra size in here, 128 by 128. And if you're able to set how the image is resized, I like best for reduction on this one, or you could use nearest neighbor. Either one of those will work. I'll use reduction, choose okay. And that brings the size down right there. If I use nearest neighbor, I would have had sharper edges on this. I think softer edges helps to blend it in with the game a little bit better. And that's all we need to do. Let's now save this out. I'll do a file save as, and it needs to be a PNG file. Come down here to PNG. So we're saving to the PNG format. And I'm gonna put it right on top of the one that we copied over. So that's inside of assets, Minecraft, textures, block, and it's right there, cobblestone.png. It has to be exactly the same name as the original. That's why I had that one copied in here. Choose save, choose yes to replace that. And that's all done. Again, add your size, just two steps in here. Any good graphics program can do that. Get that out of the way. Okay, now we need to have one more file in here. We need a pack.png file. This used to be included in the zip in that jar file. It hasn't been included for a while since version 118. So I'm putting these up on my website. Let me bring that up. And just like my YouTube channel, it's HTG George. Over here, pack MC Meta. And you want this one right here. And this is 120.5, it's actually 120.5 and 120.6. That's when you want, it says format 32. This is going to change again when we get to 121, but I'll talk about that when that comes out. It last looked is up to 34. That's gonna change before we get to the final release of that. It'll be who knows where at that point. But that's when you want the ones on top here. If you're in 120.5 or 120.6, if you're in an earlier version, just come down here, find the version that you're playing and use that one inside your texture pack. Download this, just click on this and download it. It's a zip file. Download it into the same location. Choose save, that's done. And here we go. I'm going to right click on this one. Let's open this in a new window. And you want the file right inside here. That's all it is, just drag it and drop. There we go. You can then get rid of this zip file. We don't need that any longer. Hit the delete key. And here's the pack.mc meta. Now you don't have to do anything with this if you don't want to, but it's kind of nice to change the name that's inside this. So. I do the editing for these things and all of my code editing inside of Minecraft with Notepad++. It's a free download. It's a great little, very fast and easy to use code editor. Let's bring this up. There we go. So right now I have that saying custom resource pack. You can change that if you want to. Don't change anything else. Make sure you keep those quotation marks in there. You don't lose any of that stuff. I'll just call it cobblestone and save and close. And that's all set to go. Okay, let's go ahead and build the pack. We need that assets folder. Hold the control key down, get that pack PNG and the pack MC meta. That's all we need. Right click in this compressed to zip file. Give it a name. I'll call it cobblestone. Now make sure it's going to the zip format. Don't use .rar, don't use .7z, 
Don't use anything else you may find any place. It has to be a zip file or it's not going to work. Or just put it into a folder and don't bother zipping it. Okay, let's now get this over into the game. It's the easy part. Let's go over here, latest release. Click on that folder icon again. And now scroll down until we see resource packs. Let's open this up. There's a resource packs. Here's the demo one that I was showing at the beginning. So let's take this. I'll take this file, just drag it over here. I'm going to right drag it and copy. That's all set to go. Let's close this down, close this down, and let's play the game. Click on play. We need to load this into the game and make sure that it works. Here's my menu screen. I have a lot of stuff going on in here. I have my own custom panorama. I have my own custom title at the top up here. I've changed the colorations of some of the text in here. I changed the colors of the buttons. If you want to find out about any of this stuff, I'll put links to those videos in the description. Let's come down here to options and resource packs. I'm going to take that one out. Let's load this up regular first. Choose done and done. Let's go into single player and my main world right here. Okay, there's the regular pack. That's the normal look. Looks okay. It's not great, but it works. Let's now change that pack to our new pack. Hit the escape key, come into options, resource packs. And this over here, cobblestone.zip. Bring that in, make sure that we're seeing it on the right hand side. You see, here's that custom pack.png file that I made. That's what he's in there. That's the only place you ever see that. I used to use a different one. I kind of like this one better. But here's our new pack, choose done. Load that new pack in just there. Choose done again. Back to game. And there's our new cobblestone. It's looking a lot better. Just a bit more detail in there. Not too much. It's not too crazy. So not really sticking out like a sore thumb. But it works out really well. Now notice that the block texture also gives you the textures for your stairs. You can see right there. So stair textures. If we come around a little bit. Over here somewhere. That's part of a wall, just a single thing from a wall. Works on regular walls as well. You see right there, there we go. Anything that's made out of cobblestone will now take this look. Now there's one thing about the cobblestone. You can see it right there. We didn't change the mossy cobblestone, which is this image here. To make this really work out in the game, I'd have to go back and add a second texture for the mossy cobblestone. I just take this first one and then put some mossy stuff on top of that to give us a new mossy cobblestone. So that's the one step we didn't do here to make it real nice and clean. Just use the same image and put some moss on top. And you can add that into the same resource pack. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe. And I'll see you next time.